Guys, welcome back to Open Source Outlaw. Um, today I am doing a tutorial on how to install OmniRoam, um, and it's based on Android KitKat 4.4.4. Um, I will say that this is going to be my third video that I've tried to do on this. Um, the um, I actually ended up making a tutorial video on what to do when a ROM doesn't install um, like it should. Um, but I just went on the forums to double check and apparently there's a delay um, uh, when installing this ROM up to like three minutes uh, to format and then begin the installation. And that's what I was running into is that I was sitting here for about a minute and it wasn't really installing. So this time I'm going to wait three minutes while I'm doing this video and if it installs, great. If it doesn't, then I'll scrap this video. But uh, let's go ahead and do it um, and see what happens. Um, uh, first, you guys always want to do a backup. Make sure you go to backup, tick all four boxes. Make sure it's your, ex uh, your external SD card is selected, and then you swipe to backup. I've already done my backup, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, then you want to go to wipe, advanced wipe. You want to tick every single box except the, the last one, which is your external SD card because you're storing your backups there and the zip files for your ROMs. Okay, so we're going to swipe to wipe. Okay, if that's finished, we're going to go to install and let's find the ROM. Oh, up a level. Swipe to install. Now again, like I said, I just went on and read the forums that there is an issue where right now it says Omni and then below that says formatting system. This could take up to three minutes. I'm going to stick with you guys the entire three minutes um, just so you guys don't get scared while trying to, um, trying to install this. But again, if it doesn't install, uh, you guys can always go and check out my video um, that I would have done earlier today. Um, that covers how to how to um, how to rec how to recover your tablet if if this doesn't install. And it's really easy. Um, it takes two seconds. It's not an end of the world type situation. Um, so you can go and check out that video. Um, I have not tested this ROM yet. Um, I've not done anything with it. So this is going to be a fresh um, walkthrough of the features of this ROM. Traditionally, Omni for me has not um, really been a winner. Um, I've used Omni on several different devices. I've used it on uh, an old Motorola Zoom that I had, and um, I had some bugginess with, with the ROMs that I, I installed on that tablet. I also have used Omni on my, um, on my old uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, the two th 2012 edition. And again, I had some issues with Omni on that device too. So it'll be interesting to see how well this works. I know this is this particular ROM that I'm flashing is the second edition um, that they put out so far. Um, they corrected some bugs with the auto rotation and uh, a few other features that I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but as far as I've read, everything seems to be working. Um, so we'll see. I'll definitely, you know, try to auto rotate and all that stuff to make sure everything's working. Now I don't want to slam Omni too much. I mean, they're definitely one of the only other developers out there, aside from uh, Cyanogen Mod, that uh, put out ro um, alternative ROMs for any mobile device um, after it launches. Uh, so I'm glad that they're out there and they're definitely producing stuff. And again, I've talked to people in Google Plus and in other forums that love Omni. They swear by it. It works for them. It's just personally for me, a lot of times I end up finding, uh, you know, uh, bugs here and there that um, force me to, to, to wipe it off and install the ROM that I was using before. And frankly, I have no really, really no need for any of the ROM at the moment. I mean, I'm using uh, um, I'm using uh, Cyanogen Mod 11 right now, which is based on KitKat 4.4.4. .4. Uh, personally, I, I still find that ROM is the best one for the um, Samsung Tab Pro 12.2. Um, it's really stable. Everything works. Much more user friendly 
um, when you're holding it in uh, landscape mode. Um, you know, you are missing out on the TouchWiz features of having multi windows and stuff, but there are mods that you can download and install via the recovery um, to get multi window working. Um, I just haven't bothered because, to be honest, I really don't use all those bells and whistles. I don't use multi window at all. <laughs> so, as you can see, it still seems to be formatting. I'm not really timing this. Um, I mean, I just saw the time change from 12.47 to 48, so maybe it's only been a minute, maybe it's been two. I don't know. I really haven't been paying attention because I've been talking to you guys. <laughs> I will cover while we're waiting um, some changes I'm going to make to my channel. Um, not really major changes, just stuff I'm really going to add to my videos um, in the description, and uh, I'm also going to put an overlay on the videos um, with a Bitcoin address where you guys can go and donate to me. Um, if you know if you want to um, if you like my videos and you want to contribute back to the channel that'd be a great way to do it any amount is okay um, you know it'd be nice to get a cup of coffee once in a while before doing these videos or you know contribute to a pack of cigarettes or a pizza or whatever um, it's always nice to get something back um, after contributing to the community that's out there so um, it'd be a great way to kind of show the love basically and you know this, these videos definitely take time out of my day and uh, you know it takes quite a bit of time to upload the video and add descriptions and do all that stuff I do it for the community I don't really do it for myself I saw a gap in the community here for the the pro 12.2 nobody was doing videos on them so I wanted to fill that gap and help the community just as much. Oh, just an interrupt there. You can see now that I think it's definitely been three minutes because it just switched to 1249. And now look, the Omni Room's installed. All right, so yeah, you guys definitely have to wait three minutes before this, this completely installs, which is good to know. All right, so now that's installed, we've got to go back and flash the gaps. Um, I have 4.4.4 I have gaps already on my external SD card, so that's good. I'm just going to install those. Slide to install. Gaps always take a little bit longer to install. They tend to be bigger files anyway. Um, that ROM, uh, that Omni ROM particularly, that, that file was like a 189 megabytes, I think. Which actually I think is a little bit unusual. Usually um, ROMs tend to be like in the 200 range. Um, a little over 200. So it was interesting to see that Omni was only 189. It looks like we're almost finished here, and we are, and so now I'm going to reboot the system. And again, guys, this is the first time I'm doing this ROM um, on this tablet, so we could run into some bugs. Oh, there we are. That's usually the traditional Omni ROM uh, signature that comes up when you install any of their any of their ROMs. They used to be a lot bigger, I thought. And I almost feel like, I almost feel like this is off center. I don't know, it's a little hard to judge. It'll be interesting to see how long it takes to boot into the operating system for the first time. Generally, I've noticed on Omni ROMs that I've tried to flash in the past, it usually takes in a, a considerable amount of time to boot in for the first time to get up to the, the setup screen. I'm sure this is probably going to be the case considering how long it took to install the ROM. It's funny, I'm just noticing on my camera, I'm looking at the, the tablet through the camera screen, and it's funny it's not picking up the green on Omni or on the uh, little Android guy in the middle. It's all white. I wonder what that's about. Okay, so now that booted in for the first time. Um, so we're going to click English United States. Yes. 
Now I'm gonna enter in my Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna pull the tablet away for a second. I'm um, just so you guys don't see my Wi-Fi password. Um, Cause I wanna make sure the Wi-Fi is working. Okay, it's definitely working. I'm being prompted. Okay, this is what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do my Google account. Uh, there's no need for me to do that. You guys can do that on your own. Not now. Uh, I'm just going to say yes to the location settings. And I'm going to skip this too. Uh, you know what? What the hell? I'll do open. So, I spelled that like it matters. I'm going to erase this anyways after we're done reviewing. Okay, now we're booting in for the first time. All right, now this seems uh, pretty straightforward um, compared to the other KitKat ROM that I'm using on, as my day-to-day -day driver from uh, Cyanogen Mod. Okay, got it. All right, yeah, so you have that traditional one, one screen issue, so you have to drag an app to create a second window. Okay. I really just like this wallpaper. Um, I'm actually just going to change it right now because I hate that old school wallpaper. There we go. Just so I don't have to look at that. Let's check out the app drawer. Alright, that's pretty standard for um, KitKat 4.4.4. It's the same in Lollipop as well. Let's open a few apps. Um, Make sure all the transitioning is working for switching between apps. All right. Yep. 